y'all. Coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, and they were just finishing up a 56 Nomad I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Cool car, Steve. What's up, Scotty? Thank you. Yeah, no, I dig it, man. I'm into the station wagon, especially these Nomads, right? This thing looks pretty wild looking black and white like that. I think it looks sharp. Yeah, the uh, 56 Nomad. It's hard to beat. You cannot do better than that. <laughs> and no. then you put a Holcomb interior in it, and it's black and white. I don't see you do a lot of black and white. No, there's not a bunch of black and white cars. If it didn't match outside, Eric Brockmeyer actually drew a picture. Actually had a little bit more white in it, so we... I toned it down it. a little I bit. I fixed it, yeah. yeah. You know, I, we put a little bit more black in the seats and stuff and, and toned it down because I think it would have been way too much white for this car. No, I dig it. What kind of seats did you use in it? Well, the back seat is a stock seat that we obviously fully redone customized and uh gave it bolster look and stuff so it looks like a modern style old stock seat right. and then the front seats are the 65 thunderbirds with the chrome trim all the way around it normally these seat these cars would have a full bench seat in them but uh larry wanted to know if we could do something with some bucket seats to make this thing look cool and i was right. like yeah we can a lot of other people said, nah, look at that. But, you know, it looks good with the bucket seats it's, in it. See, that's one of those things you think a Nomad, you think like sports wagon, right? You'd think it already had bucket seats in it. I didn't mm -hmm. even, I wouldn't even have thought that it was, it would came with a bench seat in it. Yeah, it originally had a bench seat front and back, but it looks good with the with the bucket, Dude, especially looked, with the chrome and stuff. It looks like it came from the factory that yeah. way. No, y'all did a great job on that. And we didn't use a console on this. And this is sort of more like a, I mean, obviously this interior will never go out of style. I mean, right, you know, right. it'll, it'll, It'll be uh, iconic from now on. But, um, yeah, I think it all turned out really neat. You know, like black and white door panels. And it's got a, actually got four speakers in. It's got speakers in the back and speakers in the front in the kick panels. And another thing that we did on this car that a Nomad usually don't have is it's got back armrest in it, which hides the on-off switch on, other, on the other side, on the passenger side. There's a little door on that. Oh, okay. Open it up. It's got the power switch. Turn it off. Shut it back. Nobody will ever find your power switch. Cool. And then in the back of the truck, uh, back of the car in the trunk area, we made some aluminum pieces where it looked like sort of like a luggage rack style. It goes up the seat on the on the um, deck lid or the trunk, whatever that thing is called, right. and then the, the floor itself. I think it's called a tailgate. Oh, a tailgate. Right. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I no, just doing I, tears, man. I, I don't like know that, right? <laughs> no, you don't know nothing but cool, right? Uh, like, no, I agree. I think that looks really classy. I, mm -hmm. There again, that's one of those things that, man, you know, maybe it came on the upgraded model. Yeah. You know, I mean, I didn't see it before, but maybe it was an option. And but, then the headliner, it's got all the chrome bows in it, too, which matches everything. So You almost really got to leave them in a wagon. Yeah, yeah. I like the bows in the wagon. And then you got the back area that's got the same concept on the tailgate, you know, so right. it just blended all in. Well, like I said, like it could have come original that way, that way or something oh yeah Sedella may actually made us a headliner for it uh, out of the cloth I just called her up and I said hey can you fix me a headliner since it was a stock headliner right you know it was just as easy to get her to take care of that for us and she did a really really good job and then uh we got the Moors and Giles leather uh, the black and white so Chris hooked us up on all that it, I'm tickled with everybody you know, a bunch of good people to you work can't with. beat that more in giles love yeah. that's for sure that's some of the finest stuff on the market mm -hmm. and i'm noticing they're really taking over the custom market too you see a lot of cars that yeah. you know used to have other people's leather now it's running that in it so for good reason quality products oh yeah quality install <laughs> right on what else you do anything no, that's about it just made a cool looking interior that's all that people pay you to do there you go all right thank <laughs> you brother all right scotty appreciate it thanks I knew y'all would want to see this 496 big block all aluminum engine up underneath the hood. And the owner asked me to give a big shout out to Kevin Bowman, the builder of the car. And as you can tell, this is not Steve Holcomb's Pro Auto Custom Interiors, but Bobby Alloway's Hot Rod Shop. I want to give Bobby a big shout out for uh, making the car available to me. I corrupted the memory card it was on and I lost the video from when I shot it at Steve's. Bobby got the car out the next day for me and let me do what I need to do. Thanks so much, brother. I appreciate it. So there you go, from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors and Alloway's Hot Rod Shop, a 1956 Chevrolet Nomad. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.